that special breed of men parade on the last night. Past experience in battle and warfare has shown that, that the field gunners will come to the forefront in times of need because they're used to putting themselves into a, a dangerous environment. Personally, I haven't seen that, but uh, I'm assured from a number of commanding officers who I've spoken to who served in the Falklands that uh, that's the case. You can feel it when we walked in that blue light. You can't explain it. You've got to be in amongst the 18. Yeah, but when you say you can't explain it? You can't explain it. Try they, to explain it. When, the large... when you walked in there, try to explain what you thought about it. When the blue light comes on, and you march in, you take that first step forward, and every movement, every foot, every movement, every her, and everybody has got the same movement. Every breath, everybody knows exactly what everybody else is going to do. That is when you've really clicked, and the boys have really put it together. And when you're marching up that street, you don't give a damn about the crowd or the other crew on the other side. You know you're going to beat them because the arms are swinging in time, the feet are hitting the deck at the same time, your head's up, and you know you've, there's a big lump in the, in the middle of your throat saying the 18 of you are one. That's what we all felt tonight. I could feel it. But what was so wonderful actually is in the last year, in the last year, ever of the field gun race, they be beat the record, they broke the record. With just a handful of runs left in the Royal Navy's field gun competition, Davenport took on fleet air arm and the clock. Their old and experienced crew were on the brink of history. Since they joined Field Gun in 1947, Fleet Air Arm proved to be a brilliantly successful team, establishing a reputation for professionalism and an approach to training altogether different from, say, Portsmouth's traditional and ultra-physical style. rounds. Devonport set a new run-out record with 1 minute 20.86 seconds. The world record was on. The run back. Three rounds. And Devonport's split time is 58.65 seconds for the run back, still comfortably faster than average. The run home.
fleet air arm sprint for the line, pushing Devonport all the way. The Portsmouth record set in 1984 finally goes. Devonport split for the run home, 20.92 seconds. They've set a new world record time of 2 minutes 40.43 seconds. Nobody has ever run quicker, and nobody ever will.